What in the abomination perverting a word of God type stuff is this? You are a natural born public speaker and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do about it? What to press me? Just saying. It's on the CRT stuff BS. What's going on, folks? So what you guys are getting ready to hear right here is very serious and it can be very dangerous. OK, not nothing that's coming from me, but what's coming from here. Um, I'm going to break this up in segments because, I mean, I'm honest with you, even though this is some good stuff that I'm going to be spilling out and showing you guys some great examples and reading along with you guys so you guys can see this stuff for yourself. I know that the attention span can hardly go no longer than 10 minutes. So just bear with me through this. Make sure you watch. I don't know how many parts is going to be broken up into, but make sure you watch all of the parts because this is very important. OK, make sure you all watch all of the parts because this right here is some stuff that is making its way out into the world. It already has its Antichrist. It's actually going to make its way into churches, which it has right now. But you have to understand where it's coming from. So stay tuned because you're going to be quite surprised by where this is coming from. All right. God bless you all. I know it's going to shake a lot of people up. So let me hit back to this video. Y'all seen some of my reactions I did the other day. All right. So here, here we go. Let me let her continue. For Duke Divinity Pride, and I am ecstatic to see this worship space so full and so vibrant with color. Thank you all for being here at the first ever Divinity Pride worship collaboration. We want to thank everybody who had a hand in making this happen, from the chaplain's office to those who folded the bulletins, to the music, and to you. Thank you for being here today. Let me throw this in there. For a lot of people that might be confused on some things, you might get to thinking like, well, Ty, this is crazy. Why would these chaplains and these things let this happen? Because they never did have the real God. They never did have the real God. They pretty much knew how to play the part. They were never called by God. They were never. Look, listen, folks. This Bible that I read, it does not change. I don't care. See, the thing is, they are they are hoping and praying. They, here's the thing. A lot of ministers, be a priest, uh, whatever you want to call them, shamans. If they are anybody that's of the Bible, they are hoping that you don't read your Bible. Because you wouldn't under they they don't 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 think that God cannot give you wisdom to understand that Bible and that only a priest or a pastor or anybody like that of the sort are the only ones that understand the Bible. So you and you got to get your understanding from them because they trick a lot of people with this. What am I saying all that for? Is because people will ask me, well, how is it that these chaplains tie are coming out and they are um these chaplains are coming out and they're letting this happen because they never had the real true God. They knew how to they knew how to play that role. I know a lot of ministers that were not called to preach. They just they're taught how to preach. They're taught how to be ministers, but they're not real people that are actually called by God, because if they did, then they would align with God's word. And this is not aligning with God's word. If this is indeed the God that they're even talking about. So anyway, let me move on. All right, let's get back to it. Appreciate y'all sticking around. Who says that? Who says that you're not good enough? If he said that you were not good enough, he wouldn't have gave his son to die for that nonsense like that. The Pentecostal fire. Hold on, let me slow down. You said refine us by the Pentecostal fire. Are you serious right now? So you cannot be refined by no Pentecostal fire if you are not repenting of anything that you did that was wrong. The fire is there to cleanse you of your sin, but only if you repent and acknowledge the sin that you're in. So you're not being cleansed of anything right now. You're just throwing words out there like a lot of ministers do to make people feel good. So go with me on this, too, because we're going to go to the day of Pentecost. Or better yet, I'll go to you and um, I'll go to the one. Let me see. What shall we do? OK, this is going to be somewhere in Acts. 
I think. Okay, so we're going to go to Acts. I know it's, a lot of people use this scripture a lot. This says, when the people heard this, they were cut in their heart and said to Peter and the apostles, brothers, what shall we do? Now, when we go on to Acts, let me see if it let me throw in 38. We go on to 38. Okay, they said, I no, mean, matter of fact, let me, let me see if I can get something in here because Peter pretty much in this right here, Peter was breaking down to the people about, uh, the fact that they he made them realize that they had just killed Jesus. OK, he said, but he saw, he referred to you. He said, but he was a prophet and knew that God had promised him on the oath that he would place on his descendants on this throne. Seeing what has to come, he spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, that he was not abandoned to the realm of the dead, nor did his body see decay. God has raised this Jesus to life and we are all witnesses of it. Exalted to the right hand of God, he received from the father the promise of. Holy Spirit and has poured out what you now see and hear for David didn't David did not ascend to heaven and yet he said the Lord said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool therefore let all Israel be assured of this God has made this Jesus listen this is Peter saying to them he said God has made this Jesus that y'all killed both Lord and Messiah he said y'all killed this Jesus you know, y'all killed him. And it said when the people heard this, they were cut in their heart. Like they, 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 they felt bad. Like they, he making them realize y'all killed the very Holy one that was coming here to save y'all. And look what it said to them. It said, they pretty much said, man, what can we do? What we did something wrong. What can we do? He said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the what? Holy spirit. Who's the Holy spirit coming from the Holy one. And then did we just not read where he said he would baptize you with, Water and with fire. Okay, because you know, people don't know this. Let's see. He said, I baptize you with water for repentance, but he, he but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire holy spirit and the fire why is he coming with the fire because the fire cleanses the fire cleanses but at the same time before you able to actually really receive that you have to understand something that you've done wrong so in this case right here they are actually in the wrong but don't even understand they're in the wrong so there ain't gonna i mean this old so-called pentecostal fire whatever she's talking about absolutely not you're not getting no pentecostal fire because the fire is there to cleanse out what impurities do you know how they make pure gold in order to get gold to be in its purest form you have to get rid of the impurities right you just can't claim that oh the pentecostal you can say that all you want to because it sounds good on paper but it does not mean it is doing anything because anything that it will be cleansed by fire you will be able to see that it's pure this right here is not pure sorry to say it and not like i said i'm not trying to bust nobody down to make nobody feel bad but if you want to come with something like this and y'all wanted my analysis on it you wanted my spiritual take on it this this is my stuff right here Okay, the great queer one. Again, who is it? And what did it call y'all to be? Whoever, let's just say, if they're, now I'm just telling y'all straight up, they are, they are, this pretty much is doctrines of devils, what she's talking about right here. It's absolutely not from God. It's not from the Holy One. It is from doctrines of devils. It is to appease to them. It makes them feel good. Okay, at least I'm doing something. I'm not, no, I'm not doing the wrong because what we're doing right here, we're worshiping God and we're worshiping. No, you're not. You're not worshiping the true God. That's why if you were, then God wouldn't have to have in the Bible to say things like, have no other gods before me. There are no other ones. That's idolizing something that's not there, but it is something that's there. It's a spiritual devil that they're looking to that they're being deceived by. And that's why they try to make themselves feel good about this because it's it's just, it's it's a mental, it's like a mental, I don't even know the word I'm looking for. It's like a mental necessity in their minds for them to actually put it into something to make them feel good. Like I punched in. Let me hear this again. And what is this queer one calling y'all to be? What exactly is that? Let the spirit move you. What spirit? What spirit? And move you in whatever way is free for you. What if they took off their clothes and started moving butt naked? You know what I'm saying? I'm just... <laughs>
the words found in the bulletin in the screen. Let's see what these words are. Let's see what this prayer says. What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right?